Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a favorites video. I know I haven't done one in a couple of months, but that's because I normally don't switch out my makeup a ton, so it doesn't really make sense for me to just keep on showing y'all the same products over and over again. Um, so I finally kind of switched up my makeup routine, kind of added in a few things here and there. So I decided why not, I'll show you guys. So some of them are pricey, some of them are more drugstore brands, some of them are kind of in between. Um, so yeah, let's just get started. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to show you is, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go from the more like pricier things down. Um, so... The first two things that are ridiculously pricey for what they are, um, and the first thing that I'm going to show you is the Marc Jacobs Lip Gloss. It's the Lust for Lacquer line, lip gloss line, um, and it's in the color Heart Shaped, and it's a very, like, pinky lip gloss with some gold shimmers in it, and I love it. It's really pretty, um... I mean, it's, it looks like this, and obviously you're paying for the name, and you're paying for the packaging, and you're paying for all the things, but, um, it's a gorgeous lip gloss, and I really like it, and I've worn it a lot lately, so it's in my favorites. Okay, the next thing is from Hourglass, and it's my concealer that I always wear. It's the only concealer that really doesn't break me out, and it hides my acne pretty well. Um, and actually, I'm going to be really honest with y'all. I, at school, like, I'll wear this on a day-to-day -day basis, and I'll go to school or whatever, and my acne is normally, like, here, here kind of I randomly broke out here and I randomly broke out on my collarbone and this covered the acne on my collarbone it hit it here it hides it here and here and here but when I'm at school I always have my hand like this or my hand like resting on my face so it wipes away so to anybody that like goes to school with me and sees that sees this video and is like, you do not wear concealer to school. Yes, I do. It just wipes off throughout the day because I touch my face because I'm bored. So I'm bored at school. Like I'm tired. I'm going to rest my face on my hand. Anyway, this is in the color Hidden Pearl. It's probably not going to show up that well, but yeah, it doesn't really show up that well on my hand because obviously it's, you know, my skin tone um but I love it it's more pricier than yeah but it works so I'm gonna stick with it it's the second one that I've had and yeah I like it okay moving on to eyeshadow this is a palette that I recently got I have a first impression slash tutorial review kind of thing video and I'll have that link down below but it's the Lorac Pro palette and I'm actually wearing it right now on my eyes because I love it and it looks like this you can tell which colors I've used um LT bronze gold champagne nude white and cream and pewter and black are my favorites um but they're all gorgeous colors and just amazing and I've never had a color like garnet before like in my makeup collection and I'll just swatch some and they're super super pigmented like it's crazy how pigmented they are but I love it I think it's absolutely gorgeous and I think everybody for the price of it it's $42 and with tax we paid around 45 ish because we also donated to um, a breast cancer foundation I don't remember which one it was but it rounded out to about like $45 and it's, I love it. I love this palette. I've been using it ever since I got it and it was killing me in the car when we were driving home because I was like, I can't swatch anything. I can't mess with it. I'll just look at it because I knew I had to film that video. But anyway, I'll have that link down below if you want to see it. Uh, technically, I just uploaded it while I'm filming this. Like I just uploaded it. But anyway, moving on, I don't really... Now I don't really know, like, 
from what makeup I'm going to show you what they really cost. So I'm just going to pick up stuff randomly. But I know that those three were like my pricier things that I had to show you guys. So the next thing that I'm going to show you guys is from Tarte. And it's a blush and I'm actually wearing it right now. It's kind of my favorite for winter right now. Winter slash fall. It's actually kind of still feels like summer in Florida. But hey, whatever. Um, this is Exposed. And it's gorgeous. I love it. I love the design that Tarte puts on their blushes and it makes me not want to use it because I don't want the design to go away but I use it because it's a really pretty color and I think I'm gonna buy the full-size version when I run out but I don't think I'm gonna run out anytime soon. And then the next thing is a bronzer. It's Park Avenue Princess. And I think you can get this like matte or with shimmers in it. Shimmers? With shimmery particles in it. I don't, I don't know. But this is Park Avenue Princess. I'm wearing it right now just as a bronzer. Kind of as a contour. Um, but not really as a contour. More as a bronzer. Um, so yeah, this is a good product. This is obviously travel size. The full version, the full size, is like ginormous and every time I go to buy it I'm like I'm not paying that much so they usually sell this size as well and I just get this because it lasts a long time and it's good. So the next product that I have to show you guys is from MAC and I got this about a year ago and I didn't really use it that much because I was thinking it's a pigment, it's gonna get everywhere and it's, it's just not worth opening until I used it a couple weeks ago ish maybe a month ago and I was like oh my goodness this is gorgeous and it's vanilla by MAC and I'm not gonna open it because I really don't want it going everywhere but it's just like a white pigment with like yellowy undertones but it like it brings out like the color of my eyes and I just I really like it sometimes I'll just put it on my lid and then blend it upwards onto my brow bone um so I mean it's just a really nice all-around color sometimes I'll just use it as a highlight on the nose on the bridge of my nose on my cheekbones on my cupid's bow things like that or you could just use it as an eyeshadow all depends on what you want to do the next thing that I have to show you guys is from Urban Decay. It's a Stardust Sparkling Lip Gloss and Glitter Rock. I think this thing is gorgeous and it is so worth $19 I think it is now. Um, it might be $20. Ugh, I don't know. But it's a gorgeous color and it's amazing and I love it. And then the next thing that I love is from Makeup Forever and this is actually in my Jade, no, Leanne tutorial and I love Little Mix. So I'll have all of my Little Mix tutorials linked down below because I just finished those like a couple weeks ago and I love them. Like I love the looks. So, and it's like looks that I would wear. So, anyway, this is in the number 15 and I'm going to swatch it right here. It's a really pretty purpley kind of color. And I don't know if that's going to focus or not. But, yeah, it's kind of washed out. But it's still a really pretty color. If you're ever in Sephora or you know, any place that sells makeup forever, I would look at this color because honestly, when I first saw it, I was like, I would never wear that. But honestly, if people in my city wouldn't give me weird looks if I wore this, I would wear this. Honestly, I would. <laughs> and if my mom wouldn't think that I was crazy. But I love the lipstick. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And then something that I wear underneath it, I know this is meant for your eyes, but I mean, people use eyeliners as lipstick. At li as lip liners all the time and what I do so this doesn't like dry out my mouth or lips is to put a lip balm on first and then I'll put on my foundation my eyeshadow mascara fill in my eyebrows do whatever and then when I'm ready to put on my lipstick and my lip liner I'll wipe off the lip balm and then I'll put this on and this is by Urban Decay as well and this is ether by Urban Decay, obviously, I just said. 
Um, and it's like a gray pencil with purple little sparkles in it and I just I think it's absolutely gorgeous it's really it's like a really good base for like a purple smoky eye or for that um lipstick okay so the next thing is actually something that I'm wearing and it dries to a matte finish and I love that um, I love like a really pretty matte lip. I just think matte lips are absolutely gorgeous, but they can be really drying. And this one isn't drying, so I like it. But it's by Urban Decay and it's in the color Shame. And it's like a really nice wine, like red wine kind of color. I don't really know. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's gorgeous and I love it. And yeah, it's really pretty. And I think if, you know, you want this kind of color, get it because it's gorgeous and I'll probably be wearing this a lot in the winter slash fall. Okay, so the next three things are from the drugstore and the first thing is from L'Oreal. It's um, a lipstick. It's in the color Sunset Angora and the number is 176. And it's just a really nice, like, everyday kind of peachy pinky color, and I love it. I think it's really, really pretty, and I think if, you know, you're more fair-skinned like me, it would look gorgeous on you. Even if you're more kind of tan, this would be a little bit lighter, and it might look a little weirder. Not weirder, but like, I don't know, I think this suits fair-skinned people more okay um the next thing is from Revlon it's a lash potion by girl luscious mascara it's in the color blackest black noir intense and it's the waterproof version and when I say waterproof I mean waterproof I use this in chemistry class because we were testing out the eye wash and I was like I am not going to school and not wearing mascara because the only time I won't I won't wear mascara is when I'm feeling like really sick um, because obviously like I'm gonna rub my eyes and things like that but this stuff is freaking waterproof I use this when I had to like test out the eye wash for chemistry class and it's oh my goodness and the wand is the brush is good and yeah it gives more of a natural finish so I don't know I like it um some people may not like it it's obviously my opinion it's my favorite oh that kind of went flying not gonna lie and then the next thing I'm actually wearing them right now they are from Ardell and they're the 301s and this is like the whole case that they come in um but I think they're really pretty they're half lashes and this one is actually coming off not cool I guess I didn't glue it correctly whatever I guess I didn't glue that tiny little end. But anyway, I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can actually see them. But, I mean, it's not like super, super intense. But they're just half lashes. So, they're not... Like, if you're not used to full lashes, which I don't really like full lashes because, like I said in the beginning of the video, I have kind of sensitive eyes. So, they're not as... Um, actually, I never mentioned that I have sensitive eyes because I forgot this one thing that I'm actually going to show you guys, but I have sort of like sensitive eyes when it comes to lashes and eyeliners and things like that. So I have to be kind of careful because it'll make my eyes water and that's just not good. That's not pretty. I don't want mascara and things running down my face. So I really like half lashes. I think they're... You know, they still add a tiny bit of drama, but not too much to where it's like, what the heck? You're crazy. Okay. So, the last thing that I'm going to show you guys that I almost forgot about is by Starlux. And I got this in my Ipsy Glam bag for October. I think. I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah. And this is in the color Obsidian. It's just black. Um, and I really like this. It's not super, super intense on the waterline which is why I like it I don't like super intense black eyeliners on my waterline like perversion it's a really nice eyeliner but it's too black 
for me, you know? Um, Zero by Urban Decay is one of my favorite eyeliners. Um, I just don't like super intense black eyeliners. I like more of a lighter black, if that makes any sense. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and all of the swatches on my hand. That's great. But please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. I just passed 400 subscribers, which is amazing. And I really want to get 500 before 2014. So we've got a couple of months. So anyway, I hope you guys had a good day and I'll see you guys later. Bye.